We are continuing to cover severe weather this morning after a night of wild weather in northeast Wisconsin. People in Wittenberg, which is in Shawano County, got the worst of it. And Fox 11's Becky DeVries was there shortly after the storm hit, and she has a look at the damage in the area. Tree limbs were flying through the yard, and the camper's rolling. This is the Madat family camper. It usually stays near the family home, but not quite like this. It was scary. Larry Madat was in his garage when the storm hit. And I looked up in the sky and the, the lower clouds were flying by and uh, the upper ones were swirling. And that's when I decided to get in the house and get in the basement. When I walked through the uh, house door, all I heard was trees cracking. Fallen trees were not hard to find last night. This one fell on a power line. Wind tore off part of the Wittenberg Burnhamwood High School roof, sending debris and insulation east of the school leaving a sloppy mess inside the gym. Part of a barn felt the storm as well. The owners of this dairy farm say around 5 o'clock the barn fell in on the animals with no way to get them out. The family says it had to put down about 60 cows. At the racetrack in Wittenberg, trailers were overturned. Craig French took this picture. He says his truck stayed upright, but the back was about four feet off the ground. We thought we were it was really, literally just going to take us away because it was just lifting everything. The trailer was almost acting like a kite. It was just picking it right up. French says the rain was coming down so fast he could hardly see. We had another fellow that was right in front of us with a pickup, and it hit him at the same time, and it literally spun the pickup completely around, and he was facing us. French says he saw another trailer flip and land on a man, crushing his legs. No word on that man's conditions. We're just glad that we didn't that we didn't take more of a ride than we did. We turned out fine. Trailer can be replaced, but so we're glad that we that we're okay. In Wittenberg, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Last night, the Red Cross said it was sending 20 volunteers to Wittenberg to assess the damage, and we have crews in Wittenberg. We'll continue to update you on the aftermath this morning.